Let's go. Welcome to the first episode of Darkest Dungeon. What is Darkest Dungeon? Darkest Dungeon is a very difficult roguelike that takes the best way I can compare it or mash two genres together or mash two games together. It's like a flat XCOM, so like a not linear but a 2D XCOM except you go through a dungeon and and I played it before on the channel when it was in uh, its early release or pre-release state and it came out uh, a few days ago I would say maybe early last week um, so we're gonna go ahead and, and start up a new uh, dungeon and we're gonna play this I've been wanting to play this for a while I've, I've been watching some of my friends like Math has played Bears and playing it for a while um, so I want to go ahead and start one up we'll call this uh, the Yarkus Yungeon <laughs> and uh, it'll take us through um, it'll take us through uh, the tutorial so if you're unfamiliar with this game you'll get a chance to look at it um, but essentially we need to get our party all the way through the darkest of dungeons uh, there is an end to this game to my understanding so you will arrive along the old road here we go it winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. You'll see this game has a really unique art style. If you only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. Haven't picked up on it already. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. Well, welcome the damnable violence. It's kind of creepy, even though it's. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery. Did you say feel yourself? Without madness, the old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Let's do it! I'm fired up. I'm excited. I want to say it's probably been nine months since I last played this, but uh, the. The full release just came out, and I'm excited to get in this. All right, afflictions are removed by placing a hero in any stress treatment activity. Here we go. Guessing it's loading. Perhaps. There we go. All right, so one of the things... All right, here we go. Let's go, go ahead and walk through this and get reacclimated with it together. All right, map navigation. You're currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. So here's where we are. Here's where we want to go. There we go. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. All right. So while in a hallway, press D to move forward or A to move back. If you pr prefer the mouse, click ahead or behind them. Got it. So here we are. So the torch will indicate where we're moving on route to the. Uh, to the next room. I love turn-based games. I really, really, truly enjoy them. So combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and click the highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot or there are no valid targets. Got it. So here we go. So this is Dismas. He's a highway, highway man. That is his, uh, his class. He has the ability to open vein or grape shot blast. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, Let's do open vein on this brigand brigand cutthroat. Seven damage, we'll take it with a little bleed. So bleed deals two damage every two rounds. Ooh, we just got smoked there a little bit. Um, bleed resist, okay. So now we are controlling Reynald and let's do stunning blow. We dodged it. Alright, let's, let's open vein again. Ooh, another dodge. He bled another two. And I can see playing this game for a long time. Let's, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. But let's go ahead and dig in here and let's go, uh, smite. Oh, nice. Alright, so rifting through the corpses, we revealed 250 gold. And we'll take it. Okay, let's go ahead and press on here. One of the things you have to manage in this game is stress. And stress is caused, I believe, by reduced light as well as... See, we just picked up some stress there. As well as, I think, just by being in... In tough environments here. Interactive objects. While exploring, you'll find interactive objects. Press click or W to investigate them. So we, we have the option to either just pass by the tent. Or use an object on the tent. 
or just skip it. Let's go ahead and check inside. The brigands left valuables. Brigands. Nothing unchecked. Gold. There is much to be found in forgotten places. And jade. I like it. Let's go ahead and move on here. Um. I think we go here now, right? How do we get in there? There we go. Let's double click on the door. Excellent. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. God, you gotta love the narration. Blanket fire. All right, so this brigand, brigand, brigand blood letter. He's got 35 HP. What should we give him? We could grape shot both of these guys in one shot. We could pistol range him or open vein. Let's bleed him out because open vein allows him to bleed, and this guy's got a lot of HP. Let's go ahead and bleed him out. I like it. That helps a little bit. So we can add torch and protect ourselves. We're getting a little bit of stress here. Um, let's go ahead and... If we use zealous accusation, you can see right here that those two red connecting lines, I believe that means we can attack both of them, or maybe either or. No, we can attack both, so let's do that. Nope, that didn't... That was not the, the true statement, so... Didn't work like that. Does this guy not have a shirt on? Look at those nips. Alright, so we just got wrecked. Tracking shot or open vein? Can we open vein this guy? We, we cannot. Why not? Alright. Alright, open vein this guy. I don't know why we couldn't open vein that guy. Blanket fire. Each took three damage. That's alright. Zealous accusation, stunning blow, bulwark of faith. Let's go, um. Stunning blow. Let's go try and try to stun this guy. Did it stun? I hope he resisted. This could be the end of Reynald. Punishment. He's got that cat of nine. Plus bleed. What is that? Actions remaining one. Nice. We needed that dodge. Alright, this is clutch here. Let's go ahead and open vein again. Is he dead? He has two HP left. Finish him. Do our base attack. Nice! Okay. Corpses. This is new. So this is new in... Uh, they didn't have this in the pre-release I played. So when, mo when monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use range skills, push-pull skills, and even corpse-clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monsters killed will bleed, blight, or wait. Monsters killed with bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. Got it. So can he like get raised up or what? Tracking shot. Let's go ahead and take a tracking shot on him. How much health does he have left? Nine. We've got two health left and five health left. Here we go. Let's go uh, smite. Oh, we can't reach him. Why can't we reach him? That's a bummer. So, I, I don't under Oh, because they, they've got to be in the one or two position? That doesn't make sense why I can't attack. Either way. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and self-protection. Buffed up. I just hope this doesn't put us in a tough spot. Don't kill us both in one shot, please. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Okay. Death's door. When a hero is reduced to zero HP, they are at death's door. While in this state, they will suffer stat penalties. Plus, any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death's door. If we just go for the kill here. Or what we could do is maybe swap them. Go for the kill. Oh, we can't. That's not what we wanted. He may not make the journey here. So I'm guessing the corpse is blocking us. Let's go ahead and swap spots. Maybe he's not going to get hit. One can hope. No. Miss. Oh, is he dead? He didn't die. 
He's at death's door, though. How do we... We still can't reach this guy, can we? We cannot. So we're gonna have to destroy this thing. I probably should have done that in the beginning. Grape shot blast. Let's go, uh... Let's bleed him out. Oh, that was clutch. How much health does he have left? Two left. Got him. We did it. We did it. All right. We picked up some gold, some food, some onyx. 500 gold each. Indeed, Scriven Records of Land grants in generations past. Of land grants. After you completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. Okay. Awesome. Quest complete. Continue adventuring because there's a chest right here. Something doesn't look quite right on this one. It's trapped. Should we do it? Or is that fool's gold? We gotta do it. So nothing's in there. Alright. Alright, let's, let's go home. So the cool thing about this game is you get to rename the players. That's what to me was like the final connection between me and XCOM when I played it. Just makes you that much more invested. So I'm excited to do that moving forward. Alright, so our rewards here, we got 5,000 gold. Bunch of food. Some onyx. Or we got some jade and onyx. Some more gold. And some heirlooms. Cool. So he's kind of stressed. Plus two resolve XP. All right, so he's unyielding. So each time you go through a dungeon or you complete a quest, something you unlock certain traits or you build up certain traits in each character. So unyielding is plus 10% death blow resist, and it, the traits can either be positive or negative. I'm guessing positive is yellow and negative is red. Prone to stealing items. All right, heroes can be renamed and recolored in the character panel. We are going to be taking advantage of that. Welcome home, such as it is. Welcome this home, Commander. Hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. Thank you. And you are bound to them. All right, Dismas is now an apprentice highwayman. Reynold is now an apprentice crusader. Quest goals: Sec successfully complete your first foray into the ruins, defeat the wizened hag. So there are bosses in this game. Defeat the necromancer and defeat the siren. Awesome. Excited to dig into this game. There's a lot of great games right now. Um, I'm excited playing. This is one of them. All right. On any screen in the game, press and hold the H for contextual help. Okay. So, uh, stagecoach is where we get new heroes. The Yarkis Yungeon Estate. Let's, let's go get some new heroes. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools. Look at all these different classes. Corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. You need to recruit these two heroes to fill out a party of four. Drag and drop them to your roster. While you're here, you may s spend some of your starting resources on upgrading the stagecoach network. Got it. All right, so we have a plague doctor. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? And a seeker vestal. I don't exactly know what a vestal does. Okay, so we can upgrade our stagecoach. What does this do? So upgrading the stagecoach increases the available heroes for hire each week or increases your roster size um so this costs three deeds i believe and three crests so increase the number of available heroes to three increases the size of the roster to 12. let's just go increase the number of available heroes that way we can pad our stats here a little bit so we'll start Great with heroes that heroes can be found even here in the mud and rain cool so there we go. So we upgraded that. And then let's see what's going on here. Ancestors mem memoirs. View the ancestors memoirs. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Hmm. So maybe this just kind of gives you an update on where you're at in the game. Graveyard, fallen heroes. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. <laughs> Rip. All right, there's that. Um. More quests to unlock, more quests to unlock. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and name some characters here, shall we? Um, we could be the main character. I don't know that I want to be that... That class, though. This definitely... We're definitely renaming this individual. Because he's definitely shifty, shady, and likes to steal. <laughs> we're going to call him Mathis Games. 
Why the heck not? Um, he has a hard noggin, so he's resistant to stun and quick reflexes, plus two speed. He's a known cheat, not allowed to gamble while in town, cheats in Magic the Gathering, and he's a kleptomaniac. Okay, his preferred position is in the two or three slot, and his preferred target is in the two slot. That's good to know. That's good to know. All right, so we'll rename that Ma him Mathis Games, and then who is this person? Um, Luette is a Seeker Vestal. What is she available? She can Maze Bash and heal. That's pretty important. She's preferred to be in the front and likes to attack in the front. She can Illuminate and Hand of Light. Why don't we name her? Um, we'll name her Kate Army. Kate Army. We'll name her Kate Army. Um, she's a Night Owl. Plus two speed of Torch is below 26. Plus 15% damage in the Cove. And is a bad gambler. Okay, that's good to know. We need to know these things. This person needs to be renamed. Um, for whatever reason, whenever I see people, my friends play this, um, they always rename the Plague, Plague Doctor to Rock Lee Smile. So we're going to follow suit. Because I could see him being this type of a character. So we're name him Rockley Smile, not Rockley Smike. We could name it Rockley. Let's name it not Rockley Spite. All right, he's irrepressible and a tippler. In town, will only drink. Okay, and he likes to be in the back, and likes to launch grenades in the back. Got it. Um, Reynold. Um, we're gonna name him. Uh, we're going to name him T.W. Solo from our Fallout. Actually, we're going to name him Butch McGutch from our Fallout Shelter series. He's an apprentice crusader. He's a warrior of light. Plus 10% damage of his torch above 75. He's unyielding. He's God-fearing. In town will only pray for stress relief and prone to stealing items. Must be hanging out with Mathis too much. All right. So now we're good to go here. Is there anything else we want to upgrade? I guess we could upgrade this even more, huh? Do we want to do that? That's eight and eight. Now let's not be greedy. This is this is fine for right now. But if two people die, we got some problems. Let's just upgrade this here. We'll get greedy. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory. Okay, let's go ahead and embark. In this domain of the damned. Trinket inventory. Glossary. Alright, let's go ahead and get on to the next mission here, shall we? A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. So this is where we start the ruins, huh? Test the depths. Alright, so we gotta build our party. Um, I believe Rockley liked to be there. Kate liked to be in the front. Butch liked to be there, and I think Mathis was okay. Ooh, he prefers to be there. Let's put them where they want to be. We put Rockley in the back. Math is here. Butch likes to be... So what I'm looking at here, Butch likes to be in the front two spots. Mathis likes to be in the middle two. That's perfect. Got everyone where they need to be. And so we're going to go scout the estate map. Test yourself in the mad realm of your fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creatures have taken over, but don't delve too far. Explore 90% of the rooms, and we'll get gold, crests, and disease charm. Excellent. Here we go. Provision. Let's go buy some the stuff here. Preparedness measured now in gold, later in blood. <laughs> All right. You want to take different supplies depending on what region you are going to and how long the quest is, but always bring food and torches. For your first quest, bring eight food and four torches. Okay. Thought we picked up some food, didn't we? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, I bought four shovels. Said four torches. All right, we'll bring eleven torches. Bandage. We'll bring one anti venom. Skeleton key. Bring a couple of those. Bring a little of this, little of that. I don't know. I'm just dabbling. This guy, he's so happy because he always makes money. All right, here we go. 
So it's my understanding that this is all randomly generated. So your experience with this is going to be a lot different than mine, which is cool. So everyone's got their own playthrough. The hero panel, right click on a hero's image reporter anytime to bring up their information. Here we go. The first crew, Kate Army, roll out. We're going to move to this room. Why is she already stressed out? Kate, take it easy. Shift click to reduce torch. Why would you want to snuff out a torch? Ooh, we'll take it. You salvage the unburned torch. We'll take it. Abandoned quest. No way. Alright, we'll take it. That was a nice little journey. Okay, what do we got here? Bone rabble. Two bone rabbles. So first up is Grape Shot Blast, Pistol Shot, Open Vein. They have 8 HP. Let's go Grape Shot. Hit them both. Nice shot, Mathis. Alright, I think you can throw a Grenadine here, can he? I wonder why we can't throw that. So we can heal or Disorienting Blast. Let's go ahead and disorient that individual. Stunned. Mace Bash is... Is base damage of 80 accurate base? I don't know what ACC ACC base mean. Accurate base, 80% chance ahead. I don't know. Um, Hand of Light, 15% damage versus unholy. I'm gonna go on a limb and say those guys are unholy. So let's roast them. Debuffed. Bump in the night. Butch dodged him. Do we have any unholy stuff? Yep. Smite. Kill him. Nice. Give them no quarter. All right, so now here's the question: Do we d destroy this corpse or what? Grape shot. Take them both out. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and disorienting blast. Hopefully, stun him. Nice. Means we get a free turn. Oh, Kate missed her shot. Come on, Kate. Let's go smite. Unholy. That's a good win. We'll take it. We receive 300 gold and unlock strong box. The contents are yours. Ooh, shovel, herbs, gold, and jade. I like it. Good start here for us. Let's go back to the map here. Select a destination. There we go. Go ahead and move forward here. Ooh, what is that? Even Rubble. The cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Okay, so we have an option here. We can do it by hand or use a shovel. Let's burn one of our shovels here. So we don't burn any resources also. Can we use one of these? There we go. So 83%. Let's keep that at 100. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right, so we got some a bone soldier, bone rabble, and cultist acolyte. Let's go ahead and grenadine. So accurate base is ninety-five damage modifier minus ninety. Four points for three rounds. Did we hit it? No, nope, resisted it. All right, next up is grape shot, pistol shot. Go open vein on the soldier. That's a big shot out of Mathis. Nice job, buddy. All right, hand of light, illumination. This may be pretty good. Let's try it. Illumination, damage mod minus 50%. Actually, let's just bash in some faces here. Hand of light. Nice. I didn't want to waste it on this guy because I think. Butch McGutch can take him out here. Nicely done. Successful incantation. Ooh, that increases stress. Bump in the night. Kate Army doesn't deal with that. Alright. We can play grenade here. Disorienting blast. Resisted. Okay. 
Arcade Army dodged. Ooh, our stress is it's brutal. Let's go ahead and open vein. Or we could grape shot them both. Let's do that. As the fiend falls, Mathis is MVP right now. We'll say that. Blossoms. Hand of Light or Illumination or Bash. Let's bash your face in. Nice. And it's up to Butch McGutch to finish the deal here. Their formation is broken. I like it. Maintain the offensive. Rifling through corpses reveals 275 gold and two busts. Alright, I like it. Let's go ahead and move forward here, shall we? We need to check our torch here. 100% hype. Radiance, may we find victory. Okay, so we gotta make a decision. Which way do we wanna go? Let's Do we go up or to the left? Let's go... I'm feeling like a right kind of day. What's this? A satchel? The sack's content are yours. Yours for the taking. Holy water. Can use to purge evil and restore purity. Can also be applied to increase resistances. Bandage will take it. Alright, another door, another exit. Let's go ahead and see where we're going to go next. We'll find out where we're going to go next in the next episode of Darkest Dungeon. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I always like testing out new games on the channel, especially ones I'm really excited about. This is a game I'm really excited about. If you guys enjoyed and want to see more, the best thing you can do is hit the like button, either with your thumb on your mobile phone or mobile device, or click it with your mouse button. It really helps out a lot. Helps out the channel. Helps out the video. Helps out Darkest Dungeon. And, uh, the band of four we have right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this new series. I'll see you guys next time.